Hello friends, in this part of PHP Ajax follow unfollow social networking system, we will discuss how to fetch comment, and display on below each post. In previous part we have already, discuss how to insert or submit comment on each post. First we want to display number of comment on each post. For this we have go to action.php file, and here we have make count comment function, with dollar $connect variable and dollar $post ID variable. Under this function, we have write dollar $query variable is equal to, select star from comment table, where post ID is equal to, dollar post id variable below this query we have write dollar statement variable equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable it will make query for execution for query execution we have write dollar statement variable with execute method this method will execute query. After this we have write, return statement with row count method, this method will return number of row affected after query execution, which number of comment on each post, which is output of this function. Now we want to call this function, so we have go to fetch post code, and under this comment link, we have called this count comment function, with dollar count variable, and dollar row post id variable. This function will display, number of comment on each post. Friends, here we can see only comment link, below each post, now we have refresh page, after refresh of page, here in each post comment link we can see number of comment on each post. Here we see a C1 comment on this page, which we have post earlier. Now we want to display comment. So we have go to index page jQuery code, when we have click on comment link, then we have to fetch comment, and display below post. So, here we have add action variable is equal to, fetch comment, this variable value we will use at server side. Now we have write ajax, with first option URL set to action.php, here we have send request to action.php. In second option we have write method, here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, in this option we can define which data we want send to server, so here we have send post id, user id, and action variable data to server. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server, which we can access from this data variable. Under this function, we have write dollar with span tag id, old comment with post id variable, with html method, under this method we have write data variable, it will display old comment under this tag. And lastly we have, put this slide toggle method code under the success callback function.
Now we have go to action.php page, and here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch comment, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar query variable is equal to, select star from comment table, inner join twitter user table, on twitter user dot user id is equal to, comment dot user id. Where post id is equal to, dollar post id variable, order by comment id in descending order, this query will be used for fetch comment data. Below this, query we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement with dollar query variable, it will make query for execution. For execute query, we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar statement variable with execute method, if query successfully run then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar result variable is equal to, dollar statement variable with fetch all method, this method will return query execution result. Below this we have write, for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar result variable as dollar row variable. Under this loop, first we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar row profile image variable value, is not equal to blank. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code, and under this we have write dollar profile image variable is equal to, image tag with source is equal to images folder slash dollar row profile image variable. But suppose, above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have write dollar profile image variable is equal to image tag with source is equal to images folder slash user dot jpg so here we have define if user has upload his or her image then it will display profile image otherwise it will display default user image now we have write dollar output variable, and in this variable we have append HTML code, and in this first we want to display profile image, so here we have write dollar profile image variable. After this we want to display username, so here we have write dollar row username variable. And lastly, we want to display comment, so here we have write dollar row comment variable, it will display comment details. So, here we have store comment details, under this dollar output variable, in HTML format, for send this details to Ajax, here we have write echo statement with dollar output variable. Now friends, we have refresh page, and after refresh page, here we can see post with comment link, in most of the post has zero comment, but here we can see one post on this post. For see this post comment, we have click on this comment link, after click on this comment link, we can see comment on this post which have been post by this John Smith user. This post of Jacob Martin, 
so we have log out from this John Smith account, and log in as Jacob Martin account. After log in as Jacob Martin account, now we can see Jacob Martin post, in one post we can see one comment, so we have click on comment link. After click on comment link, we can see comment, which has been done by John Smith, so here we have reply on this comment, which we have right below this comment box, and click on comment box. After click on comment, comment form has been slide up, and here number of comment has been increased by one. So this way we have integrate comment feature under this existing follow unfollow system by using PHP with Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.